In less than 10 minutes, this short presentation provides a simple demonstration on how to create a best spot calculator with a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. We will use the cost per unit method, which is the cost of the product divided by the number of units, and results will determine how much we are paying for one unit of the product. The product with the lowest result is more cost effective and a better buy. We will use the following two examples, example one and example two, to build our best buy calculator. Let's get started. Now, in cell B5, we replicate the cost per unit equation with the displayed Excel division formula and divide the cost of $14.76 in cell B3 by the unit 154 fluid ounces in cell B4 to give us a result of $0.10 cents per fluid ounce. And we do the same in cell C5 with the displayed Excel division formula and divide the cost of $9.19 in cell C3 by the units of 129 fluid ounces in cell C4 to give us a result of $0.07 cents per fluid ounce. Now, in cell B6, we enter the displayed Excel if statement formula, which calculates if B5 is less than C5. The first argument, yes, will be chosen, but if B5 is greater than or equal to C5, the second argument, no will be chosen. Well, because B5, which is 0.1, is greater than C5, which is 0 0.07, the formula chose the second argument, which is no. And now replicate in cell C6 with the displayed Excel if statement formula, which calculates if C5 is less than B5, the first argument, yes, will be chosen. But if C5 is greater than or equal to B5, the second argument, no will be chosen. But because C5, which is 0 0.07, is less than B5, which is 0.1, the formula chose the first argument, which is yes. At this point, the best Y calculator for example 1 is complete, and we will now construct the calculator for example 2. First, highlight the example 1 calculator and copy and paste below to cell 9 alpha. Change the name of the calculator to example 2. Change the names to orange cereal and blue cereal. Change the units from fluid ounces to ounces and input the example to cost unit data. But do not change the equations in the green cells and note how the formulas automatically update and calculate with new data.